the ministry Thank and you. give her those stories you are giving us here. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, please, please. Let's hear the senator. Mr. Order, order, Mr. Let, order, senators. Mr. Speaker, order. he's on a point of order. Yes, Let I'm us on a hear point you. of order. Mr. Speaker, we have very few minutes, and this is a critical national discussion and national debate. We are not here to kiss people's behinds. We are here to ask critical questions about the doctor's strike. Can you limit the contribution of the senator to a question, Mr. Speaker? Thank you. So, Chira, senator Cherargay, what's your point of order? Sorry. Can I use this? Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm standing or under standing order 121 yes. and 122. If you have noticed, Mr. Speaker, today since morning, yes. the Nairobi Senator has an habit of shouting and demeaning members. Yes. Mr. Speaker, I would like to request your attention kindly. Kindly. Mr. Speaker, have you noticed since morning the Nairobi Senator has been shouting, belittling, and hurling insults at the members across the aisle, especially on this side, Mr. Speaker. You need to, to reign. It is becoming grossly misconduct. He should be thrown out, Mr. Speaker. Because, Mr. Speaker, under, under the Constitution Freedom of Speech, Senator Dr. Ali Muni Mundigi has a right to ask the question day one. Why would, Senator, why would you allow Senator Sifuna to use a parliamentary language by calling us that we are kissing people's behind? We are not. Our, ki our kisses are for somewhere else, Mr. Speaker. We don't kiss anybody's minds, Mr. Speaker. We just say it as it is. He must withdraw the last statement of using unparliamentary order members. Wait, just wait. Mr. Speaker, he must withdraw the unparliamentary language of telling us that we are kissing other people's minds. We know what kisses are meant and where to kiss. We cannot be told by Senator Sfuna, Mr. Speaker. Can you call him out of order? Uh, Honourable Senators. Uh, honorable, honorable senators, order, order, Cherargay, order. Uh, Senator Sifuna stood on a point of order that uh, Mundingi was wasting time with a long statement instead of asking a question. And uh, I have to, I have to warn Senator Mundingi. I did make a ruling, and I was very clear. When you're given opportunity to ask a question. Go straight to your question and make it short and precise. Uh, Senator Sifuna. Can you stop directing the chair? I don't need your assistance. Exactly, you are shouting across the aisle. Two wrongs don't make a right. Uh, Senator Sifuna, I would urge you to withdraw kissing whatever part of the body you had re referred to and make it more parliamentary and withdraw Mr. that Speaker, statement. Luckily for me, I have the full range of the English language. I will withdraw the statement of kissing someone's behind, which is exactly what is happening, and replace it. Replace it. I have withdrawn it. I am withdrawing it. Why? Mr. Speaker, can order, I continue? Order, can order, order, continue? order, order. Proceed, Sifuna. Mr. Speaker, if they don't listen to me, how will, how will they hear it when I'm withdrawing it? Proceed. How will they hear order. when I'm withdrawing order, it? Order, senators. Let, order, order. We cannot proceed have, like this, senators. Order. How yes, else am I supposed to withdraw? Just how withdraw. many ways are there to withdraw other than the way that I'm withdrawing? Withdraw the Mr. statement. Mr. Speaker, I am going to replace the phrase kissing the behind of this, uh, the CS, which is exactly what they are doing, and replace it. Replace it. Can I hear him? Wait, let's hear him. Replace it. Replace it with massaging. With massaging the CS for health, Mr. Speaker. Because that's what they are doing. Okay. Senators, senators. Senators, senators, senators. Senators, I have Oroba. Oroba. Gloria. Order, senators. Order, senators. Order, senators. We cannot know. I'm not going to give any more points of orders because we are not listening to each other. 
Other senators, he withdrew. He withdrew, Chirarge. He withdrew. Order senators. Or Senators, senators, order, order, senators. Cherarge, I will start by throwing you out. Order, order. I was listening. You were not listening. Senator, I will throw you out. You, we are not listening to each other, senators. Cherarge, you were not listening to Sifuna when he said he is withdrawn. That statement. And, he has, he has the right to replace it. It needs to make a sense. Order. Order. The ruling. Order. Senators. You want us to proceed, Senators. I'm not engaging you, Cherarge, in an exchange. I asked him to withdraw, and he withdrew. So can we proceed? Senators, let us proceed. The matter was la parliamentary language. The issue was parliamentary language. Gloria, what is your point of order? But, Senators, Mr. I will Speaker. not. Mr. One Speaker. moment, Gloria. Gloria, one moment. I will not allow point of order. If we are not, we are not going to engage ourselves in proper manners, okay? Let us agree. If you have a point of order, press your intervention button, and I'll give you an opportunity. But shouting at each other across the aisle and shouting at the chair will not be entertained. Gloria, what is your point of order? Mr. Speaker, under, under Standing Order 122B, Mr. Speaker, uh, and let me read it, eh? Gross Disorderly Conduct 122B. Declines to retract use of unparliamentary language or declines to offer apologies, despite having been ordered to do so by the Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, for me today, and the reason I, am, I want to bring this to your attention, Mr. Speaker, we have had cabinet secretaries coming even today, and I have not had this language being referenced to our Minister of, of Defense. But Mr. Speaker, when a woman comes here, we have Nairobi Senator starting to throw words and, and, and demean women leaders, because Mr. Speaker, what Senator Sifuna is doing is belittling the women in this house and our women leaders. He must withdraw and order, apologize Sifuna, profusely order. because when you see women, you cannot just be thinking about sexual references, such as kissing people's behinds, Mr. Speaker. This is completely out of order. And Senator Sifuna must not only apologize to this house, but to the women of Nairobi and to the women of Kenya. We are tired. Apologize and withdraw. No, Senators, I want to put this matter to rest so that we can continue to ask the question. Senators, Senators, order. As the chair, I asked Senator Sifuna to withdraw the statement he made about whatever he said, about kissing the behind. And Senator Sifuna did exactly that. He withdrew. He retracted that statement, and he retracted it. Just a moment, Gerard Gay. You know, we cannot continue like this, seriously. <laughs> Senator Sifuna retracted that statement to my satisfaction as the chair. Okay? Now, if you're going to make another point of order, which is not touching on parliamentary language that Sifuna used, I would have listened to you. But we are going about the same issue that, he ra that was raised and was, re was withdrawn. So, Senators, we put this matter to rest, and we, are, we go to the next question. Senator Cheriot, there is nobody... Order, Mundingi. Mundingi. Senator Mundingi. 
if you had used the opportunity I gave you to ask the question, you would have asked by it. Now it's, you've been overtaken. Uh, Senator... Now it seems, oh, Senator Professor Margaret Kamar. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity. May I take the first opportunity to thank the... Mr. Speaker, can you... Sifuna, can, can we hear the in professor silence? in silent? Thank You're protected, you. Senator. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the Minister for a good response, and I want to thank her for talking to the country and bringing some uh, comfort, because we have all been very concerned about what's going on. Um, Mr. Speaker, could the Minister assure us and the country that the current negotiations will not stop again. Because we reached a point when the medical doctors, the striking doctors as we call them, reached a point when they were saying it is the government that is on strike, it's not us that are on strike. There was a point also that we witnessed the negotiating side of the government walking out because negotiations are negotiations. So long as the unions are here, negotiations must take place. Can we get an assurance that there will be